breaking. Welcome to today's headlines. IPOB warns against violation of Igbo women. IPOB warns against violation of Igbo women. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read today's news. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Yesterday warned that it will not tolerate any violation of Southeast and Igbo women. Under any guise by security agencies and their workers. IPOG also said that the people of the people of Oluzun celebrated Christmas and New Year peacefully because the wicked abductors of Rocha's Okorocha's son-in-law, Ogumba Uchenwusu's abductors were exposed. The pro Biafra group alleged the alleged abductors of Unwusu were not exposed timelessly. Perpetrators would have, as usual, quickly probably kill him after some days blamed their evil on ESN to further heighten tension and project IPOB and ESN as terrorist group. IPOB further alleged that the police and army are using frustration a lack of professionalism in discharging their duties to cook up lies against the people of Southeast, particularly in Imo State. A statement by IPOP's media and publicity secretary, Ima Powerful, entitled, We Will Not Accept Violation of Biafra Women by Any Criminal Under the Guise of Any Security Agency, also warned, the Senator Ope Uzodima led Imo State, the All Progressives Congress, APC, that Imo people have had enough of their intimidation and harassment of innocent citizens and residents of the state. IPOP statement read We are the indigenous people of Biafra. IPOP under the leadership of Mazi Unamdekanu, wish to warn security agencies in Southeast and Igbo land in general that we will not accept violation of Biafra women by any criminal under the guise of any security agency. Following the frustration and lack of professionalism by the Nigerian security agencies, they have, as usual, resorted to lies and propaganda to deceive the gullible mind. The Nigerian army and police have been parading and killing innocent citizens in Imo State. They, and they started with falsehood to demonize their innocent Imo victims. They can only deceive those who don't know what is happening in Imo State. Since Hope Uzodima led Imo State government and his All Progressives Congress, APC, party, turned Imo State into an abattoir for innocent Biafrans. Nigeria security agent and Ebube Agu security members recruited by the APC governors in Southeast, have been killing innocent citizens in Imo State. And they keep telling their usual lies again that they repaired Eastern Security Network, ESN, operatives who allegedly besieged the palace of Eze Emmanuel Okeke 
of Ama Ifeke in Olu Imo State. This is another blunted lie from the beat of L. IPOP ESN operatives have no issues with traditional rulers in Biafra land, but Nigerian army and police trying to create the wrong impression that we are hunting the monarchs. We, however, want to tell them that we have all regard and, and esteem our reverted monarch and will any time, any day, go, go after anybody or group that attack or insult our monarchs. It is a sacrilege to molest, insult or arm any monarch in Biafra land for any reason and no matter any circumstance. It is true that we criticize some traitors among our people including politicians, traditional rulers, president, generals and even religious leaders who don't seem to be real. Our condemnation of the unpatriotic actions against Biafra has not got to the level of going after any of them. We regard and respect them, and when they err, we admonish them, and that does not take away the respect we have for them. We will not be surprised if these criminals behind the bloodletting in our land start going after religious leaders and blame their abominable act on IPOB and ESN that is when they will know that Chuku Okiki Abiyama are behind us. I will not waste them in exposing them. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you.